Hey Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. You're up next for the general. A well, week's worth of energy, past, present, and future. Whatever is in your energy, cross watchers are welcome. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check the community board and playlist for new things too, okay? So, interesting. <laughs> that could be gender as well. Um, let's just get going. All right. So, I rolled your house placements. First house, fourth house, seventh house, or tenth house is what this could be surrounding directly for you or whatever the situation is. Interesting. All right. Your planetaries, including our Mercury, which is all about communication. Your Mars, aggression, ambition. <laughs> so funny. You just popped that up, spirit. Okay. Yes, exactly. I just saw it as I said it. That's funny. Okay. So it could be, and I could take that how it resonates. This could be aggressive communication, just ready to go, ready to get things moving and grooving. It could also just some, be somebody wanted to start a fight, right? Because, you know, Mars energy can be also about fighting, war, that sort of thing, bloodthirstiness, okay? <clears throat> Viciousness. You also have Neptune here, though, and, and Uranus. Both are very transformative energy spiritually so this may actually be very fast communication it could come spiritually too okay this could be just something you get from going within right so the first energy and i did pre-pull extra as well just to kind of like get a sense of what we're dealing with here okay let's actually go backtrack and tell you what spirit has been saying this whole time since started okay something public Maybe go outside. Maybe something public is going to happen in front of you. Maybe someone's going to be ice cold with the frozen here, or it might be a shock, okay? Then planes and law showed up together, okay? Um, that could be plain and simple. That could be having something to do legally. It could be about rules or guidelines or um, bureaucracy. I'm also seeing that as well. Michael could be significant. Um, any part of a name could be an establishment of business, but this could also be Archangel Michael <laughs> as well, right? With an air of that protection, okay? Maybe this could be a spiritual battle and, you know, the higher ups have got you back, okay? Like maybe some, some karma is coming back or negative energy is returning because the next thing I see is pain and cupcake, okay? To sweeten the deal, right? You may be, they might be getting pain and you might be getting a cupcake, right? You might be getting something nice and sweet and simple, right? Like, and tasty. <laughs> but pain and cupcake together just make me think of like, you know, maybe somebody's getting a pie thrown in their face or something like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then of course, sex and fly showed up together. So that could be like gender and something's on the move, right? Or, and that could just be an identifier for you as well. Somebody's being ambitious. Maybe they're coming to you. Maybe they have to fly to you, like in the air, in the sky. Um, this could also just be messages coming through. And it could refer to either a male or a female or maybe somebody that's non-binary as well. So that could be something to think about there. What next? Mass. Ooh, ambition and mass. A whole lot of ambition. Okay, you definitely have that Mars energy there. Okay. Could also be Massachusetts. That might be significant to you as well. I'm also seeing Moss as in more in Spanish with that. It could also just be very dense, thick energy, okay? Massive, right? So, overall energy from Work Your Light, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution and expression, okay? So there may be something kind of attacking your energy at the moment, and this is a time to speak truth and get out of hermit mode, Virgo. <laughs> You're good for that. You're good at being in hermit mode. So that may be... That may be spirit telling you, you need to get, go outside. Just go outside. Time to be outside, right? Speak your truth, right? Up next for overall is unshakable inner peace. 
You have number 31 breaks down to a four that is a number of protection. So the Michael, the Archangel Michael makes sense too. Everyone is on their own journey. How can you focus more on your own path? Okay. Just keep that in mind. Entity. Interesting. Yeah, definitely something having to do with energies around you coming back. When we think of entities, we think of just um, things being manifested in the tangible that we can't explain, right? From your tea leaf, you have bird flying. News is on the way. So there's your mercury as well. You might have to respond to it with the share your voice. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Go outside. <laughs> Man, this could be you, or you could be dealing, dealings or relationship with a man, okay? That could be the gender, the sex. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Hold on a second here. We have a lot more. <laughs> Elephant, a journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. And clouds, temporary problems. Barely see that. Okay, elephants may be significant, birds significant as far as signs and synchronicities, any of the numbers. Traffic. Interesting. Maybe that's the long journey. It'll be something that'll get you stuck in traffic. That'll be an identifier of what it may be. Yeah. From your moonology, you have show the world the real you. Full moon and Aquarius. Okay, so that would be June-ish for timing. Okay, maybe July, I think. All right. Could also be dealing with uh, sun moon rising aquarius as well all right you also have teaching you inspire young people to learn so maybe there has something to do about teaching in general or showing the way Ooh, yeah. maybe you can redirect this provoking energy teach a better way you know and maybe it's a younger person that just is naive right all right, from your stargazing oracle, first one up, you have Gibbous Moon. You're close to achieving your goal, final phase before completion. Some tweaking needs to be done. Pay extra attention to details and focus, okay? You also have Pluto, transformative energy. Renewal, destruction, rebirth, death cycles. It could also indicate black magic being used. I did see that with the entity. Struggle, power, taboos, and obsession, all right? So you might be protected from any negative energy coming forward anyway. Like you don't have to, you can just redirect it and teach it to do better, right? Second house could have something to do with your second house. Material, possessions, money, work, income, values, aesthetics, luxury, security, attitude towards possessions, okay? Um, employee, interesting, maybe... Um, Not necessarily for those that aren't working, right? Okay. Um, yeah, it could be just like an employee on the job has a bad attitude, right? Like, or something like that, literally. Um, but it could also be just someone you work with for whatever projects you do, hobbies you do as well, right? Any collaborations you have um, or that you're in charge of, whatever your situation is, okay? Um they might have a bad attitude towards something, right? That attitude towards possessions, right? And this might be transformative for them as well. I'm seeing that Pluto energy there, as well as Uranus and Neptune. They might be all up in their feels about something. They might have attachment issues, okay? That might be an identifier as well. Okay, from Black Moon Astrology Identifiers, we have a 48, which breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3, Yod, Destiny, so this is divinely guided, okay? Number 2, Moon, Moon Placement in Aquarius could be significant as well. Soul, ooh, Denial, Lesson, all right, that's definitely a lesson, <laughs> okay? So, 50 breaks down to a five pints are all about transition and change towards the higher, highest and greatest, most living good of all, right? Saturn return age. This is probably something that's been brewing for a while, okay? Um, and probably will brew for a little longer, too. I'm getting that sense. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius energy, and or this could be you or another Virgo, right? Okay, so those placements... 
specifically Sun, Moon, Rising, Pluto, Mercury, Mars, Neptune, Uranus. Oh, and Saturn return. Saturn's here now. Okay. More specifically. So the other cards that popped up too, and I had to clarify this, you have no one falls in love faster than an inmate. I see this card as a few things, you know, being trapped by circumstance, mentally, emotionally, could be literal incarceration. Um, so I had to clarify it with no time soon coming out. So that's your longevity here with Saturn, but it's going to come out on top, right? You're going to have some gains. You're just going to have to take those steps up, right? So to clarify further, let's see if I get this not so messy here. All right. First card that came out was, in fact, imprisonment. 29 breaks down to an 11. It's the manifestation number. And 20 house. Okay, so clearly there's some choice here as well. 20 breaks down to a 2. Options, partnerships, collaborations. Maybe there's feelings of being entrapped by a situation. Ooh, just had high-pitched left ear um earring for you okay look up the meaning of that that may be significant that is a confirmation all right then you had number 15 lovers popping out with number four courtship and courtship could talk about you know collaborations you just really enjoy doing this doesn't necessarily have to cameron might be specific to somebody that might be an identifier thought of ferris bueller just there uh, or diaz <laughs> maybe the <laughs> influence <laughs> could be a favorite okay courtship could refer to work love life friendships new acquaintances new meetings that kind of thing and it could be about something you love it doesn't necessarily have to mean a romantic connection it could but it could be about something you very very much love to do right so i had to clarify and it was clarified by community 39 breaks down to a 12 is a three so this is definitely something in the community, maybe some sort of um, community collaboration. Nature might be important to you right now. Clarifying imprisonment and house, just to make sure it's not like a person's on house arrest, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> or they're feeling trapped in home. You know, this could be that Virgo energy, the hermit mode. Time to go out, right? It's about decisions, being mentally trapped by a situation, okay? 30 also breaks down to a 3, okay? So I'm going to pull a few more cards just to identify people and behavior in the situation from the bluebird, okay? Let's see if there's anything else we can get to. It's just three, three individual identifiers. All right, Moon, Cancer, Pisces. Eight of Cups, somebody needing to move on, somebody really intuitive, emotional, okay, especially when the moon is full. Daniel might be significant. More Piscean energy with the Nine of Cups here. Maybe somebody that has lots of wishes and hopes, okay, to be fulfilled. Maybe they have achieved their wish fulfillment, except, ooh, all right, uh, someone bringing in the good news, okay. All right, one more. Horses could be significant. Maybe they like to ride horses. Page of Swords, that is Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Pisces heavy with this. All right. They could have children. They could be a child. They could be immature or younger than you. Uh, 13 breaks down to a four. This could also just be a friend. Enemy, friends are many. Enemies are few. Embrace a fresh start and all you do. So this could also just be a new beginning in something questionnaire interesting tell us more spirit maybe they have questions for you right maybe they're they're trying to figure something out and they need your assistance right something they're intuitively guided and feel really passionate about that could be this as well uh, with the lovers and the courtship and community all right so let's get you some guidance on how to proceed with this Aside from going out and having fun, <laughs> maybe they're going to ask you to go out and have fun. Yes. I say yes. Go for it. you got some opportunities here. But you got to go outside for them. From Botanical Inspirations, this is our new one. You have Peony. 
prosperity and compassion. By unknown, prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Ooh, so it's also about gratitude as well. Love it. Let's see if I can clean it up there a little bit. Can you see that better? <laughs> it's like really hard with these holographic cards. Okay. Let's get you three <clears throat> chakra cards, areas of focus and chakras to cleanse or work with or etc. spirit. Grab quite a few decks here, actually, just to get this rolling. Lessons did pop up beside denial, for sure. Maybe this person's lesson is denial. Okay, Earth Star Chakra. Yes, definitely with the nature, 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 nature. Getting grounded and rooted with Mother Gaia. Okay. Um, connecting with her through your Earth Star Chakra and, and doing some self love nurturing. And nurturing others around you as well. It's also a card of family and home, community, that sort of thing. You have Sacral Chakra 11, Inspiration. You might actually get inspired going out by of it for something else, some collaboration or project. Really focused on the word aesthetics on that second house card there. And number 19 breaks down to a 10. Ends or endings that lead to new beginnings, right? Forgiveness, heart chakra, okay? Okay, let's get some mermaids on this. Let's see what the mermaids have to suggest. Breaking free, that's a card of cord cutting as well. Clearing your energy. Or just getting out, being grateful, gratitude. Ooh, cemetery. Talk about endings, right? Inner knowing, using discernment and intuition is your moon energy. Okay. Gratitude also talks about doing little exercises, like gratitude exercises every day. A good one I really like. It's so easy to remember to do and doesn't feel like it's homework. First thing in the morning, just think of five things that you're grateful for overall in life, right? They could be as simple as just having air to breathe and water to drink and food in your fridge. You know, simple things that are just all the time, right? When you go to bed at night, think of five things that you're grateful for that happened that day, okay? So if you're a person that forgets to brush their teeth <laughs> and you remember to brush your teeth, you can be grateful for that, right? So it doesn't have to be severe or big or, or anything. And before you know it, you think of all kinds of things, you know? Try to think of something new every day. All right, what lesson? Surrender. I can release my need to control. All right. So you definitely have a bit of that... Um, freeing aspect of going with the flow with the universe, right? There may be something that pops up for you that's brilliant, right? If you do go with the flow and quit trying to control everything, right? Now we're going to pull for masculine and feminine energies for the ladies and the gods and titans. Let's see if there's anything else specific to your energy balance, okay? Your yin, your yang that needs a little attention or confirmation. Take it how it resonates for Virgo, Sun and Rising. Ooh, nice. <laughs> we love this guy. This guy. I'm not going to get all mobster on you. <laughs> I almost want to, a little East Coast. So maybe, yeah, East Coast might be significant. He is all about thinking outside the box, getting creative. He's, this, he's the nerdier one, but he's very brilliant. You know, like he's he's able to DIY and Jimmy Rig. He is, you know, he's 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 the guy, right? When somebody needs something that's different and unusual, he can put it together, right? He's also very handsy. And he came up in the upright for you, so it means you're on your way towards something absolutely brilliant. 
ladies. How say you? For the feminine energy, you got hell, rebirth. Ooh, love it. Talk about transformative. Yeah, those outer planets are all from this read, too. Vulcan. There you are, buddy. When you need to think outside the box, when you have run out of ideas, when you need to create something very practical to solve a problem, Vulcan is your guide. Celebrating or further developing your uniqueness and cognitive abilities are also a Vulcan trait. It is said that the geeks inherit our Earth now. These are the people who use their minds and inventiveness rather than their force and brawn. So don't fight the situation. Surrender, right? There may be some creative thing happening. Ooh, and it may come in waves. Really? Neat. Interesting. Okay. Rent could also indicate, you know, someone renting free space in your mind. It could also mean, you know, an actual person that pays rent, right? So that could be an identifier. Using your rationality rather than your emotions to make decisions may be the way to go should Vulcan step forth in your life today. So you might need to balance that out. Maybe you've been too much in your emotions as of late and you need to kind of pull that back and kind of balance that energy, right? Let's see. Hell, darling. It's time to relinquish and release what isn't working for you. It's always difficult to acknowledge an ending. The goddess of death, hell, is here to remind you that it's the only way to find yourself at a new beginning is you're going to make room for it, right? You're holding on and hoarding energy like that. That's not good for you. Universe isn't going to bring you the stuff that's meant for you. There's no room for it. And you're out of space. You got to clear out the closet, right? Energetically speaking. So, and it's going to, it seems like it's going to take a bit, right? Because there's probably been an accumulation going on with that. Um, no one falls in love faster than an inmate. And no time soon in the gains, right? It's just going to take a while. Maybe you're just starting doing a karmic clean out or something, right? Think of it that way. Let's get you a couple from our Keepers of the Light deck for the Ascended Masters. Let's see what some of the higher ups have to say. Since potentially Archangel Michael is on board for you, protecting you. <laughs> I will laugh if he shows up. If he is in this deck. Two, please. Lord Ganesh. Hi, dude. And Shiva. Nice. Let's do one more. Oh, we got two more. Oh, nice. And Serapis Bay and Hope. Beautiful. All right. So Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. All right. He's also like <laughs> twin. Interesting twin. So maybe something's going to happen in twos. That might be a sign or synchronous that you've heard of happy things happening in threes, right? Like, but twos maybe pairs. Okay. Identical pairs. What kind of twin are we talking about here? <laughs> are these soul connections they're dealing with okay lord shiva transcendence rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe All right there's your go with the flow surrendering energy serapis bay ascension move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here all right he also talks about doing a little shadow work too so you might want to look into that see what methods work for you Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. And this is all about flipping the script, right? As soon as you start thinking pessimistically, you just flip the script to something positive, right? Don't get stuck in it because toxic positivity is a thing, okay? You can take it too far. It's a method by which we balance, right? Balance things out. So, any final words, spirit? Addition. Think of what's extra in your life that doesn't vibrate. Hold on a second. Hmm. I saw a little face pop over my fence there. Could have been a bird. That may mean something. Birds might be significant to you. Anything else, Spirit, as I shuffle? 
or Beyond Lemuria for final guidance. And you're getting the book with help. <laughs> all right, by Easy Ivy. New deck. We're using it all month. Okay. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Final guidance. Thank you, Emma. You have 13. Also breaks down to a 4 for that protection. Air. So you could also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. That's another. Paradigm shift. Ugh. If I can stick it there. Love it. Winged, another winged creature. All right. Birds may be sending you messages, so pay attention to that, especially since one just popped over the fence. <laughs> Sneakily. <laughs> All right, there might be slowly having communicate. What was this? Communication, messages, winged creatures, slow winged creatures. Definitely not a hummingbird. <laughs> All right, paradigm shift, an innovative way of existing, new earth energies, inspiring others, fresh air, flying higher than you have before, more expansive perspectives, consciousness shift. This is Phoenix energy too, I feel it. All right. Themes, communication, sharing wisdom, the breath of life, movement, faith, winged helpers, intention, inspiration, and change. Emily might be significant to you. It may be a name, middle name. Um, Emil also, Millie as well. All right, we are in a time of great change and the speed of our evolution is increasing exponentially. With our advanced technology and ability to communicate, more knowledge and power are available to us as individuals than we have had for centuries. There are more platforms where we can share this information. We have the ability to connect with the tribes who are making a difference, to connect with the web of change where our lights unite and increase. Score. Love it. Information that was inaccessible, taboo, or shrouded in mystery or initiation, or grossly just misunderstood for some persecutory, and you do have that here, energy because of someone else's agenda, especially in the healing arts, is now available. Okay, so healing arts may be specific to you at this time, all right? We can engage many tools as we build energetic sovereignty and create pockets where we can choose to make big changes in our communities. We can inspire others, connect the dots, and receive and share the knowledge and tools needed for transformation. As we wake up, we can't help but awaken those around us. It may start with an inquiry on what this fresh, new, and long-awaited breath is all about. An expansive being holds a tiny heart-shaped seedling, as you can see in the picture. Okay, there's the seedling. <laughs> okay. When the foundations we build on come from a place of love over fear, we will see huge positive changes in the world. We can start with ourselves, okay? This is definitely about also kind of elevating your aura, right? Your energy system, okay? I'm thinking much more vast. Cameron might be significant to you at this time. Is that a second Cameron? Maybe it's a, a different spelling. Maybe it's a name that can be spelled many ways, whoever this person is. Yeah, Cameron's there too. Cameron and Cameron. Okay. Cam. Interesting. Okay, Virgo. Anything else, Spirit? Last call. I see you wanted to say something. Dried. You have to be more specific. Let's actually figure that out. There may be something that's dried out. Clarify dry. Out. I'm just gonna take out the little rock and roll tarot and do a quickie. This might be some something specific for one of you. Okay, 
Maybe the options are drying up. Choices are drying up. Okay. You have two of swords here. Enigma, flux, uh, conflict as well, or conflicted desk. Having something to do with your desk, okay? So maybe there's like a physical, tangible task that might be really specific to just one of you, okay? It's dried up. You don't need to worry about it anymore, all right? There you go, Virgo. Hopefully that helps. Follow your other placements too, okay? Sun, moon, and rising. And Mercury and all these, okay? <laughs> just check those out. See what they are. Or at least I would pick the ones that are highly aspected or have um, duplicate signs. That may be very, very helpful at this time, okay? Bye.